Guys, so Con McGregor, all right, you guys should know who he is. The most famous MMA fighter in the world, the first two division champion in UFC history. All right. Um, last time he ended up winning a fight was against uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone back in January of 2020. Takes time off, right? Obviously, because the pandemic, you know, he wanted to get that um, out and fight, but wasn't able to return back into the octagon up until January 2021 against Dustin Poirier for, for the rematch which was hensing about, what were we talking about, six years, if anything, right? Um, loses that fight, you know, couldn't really establish, you know, checking the leg kicks and stuff like that. Um, you know, Dustin Poirier, part of ATT, you know, these guys love to blast leg kicks and, you know, follows through with the trilogy match, right? Which sets it up right there because Poirier becoming a big star, all right, um, since losing that first fight against Connor, go has gone out and won the interim lightweight title uh, against Max Holloway. Loses the unification bout with, against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Has a amazing fight against Dan Hooker. Beats up on people of the likes of Justin Gaethje. I believe he lost to Michael Johnson, if I'm not mistaken, if memory serves me correct. Um, but has been in a number of wars, right? Um wins the rematch against Dustin Poirier, I'm sorry, against Conor McGregor. And the trilogy happens last July between Conor and Dustin. And you have, um, you know, Dustin winning that first round by a landslide, was dominating um, Conor and was just roughing him up and beating him up on the, on the ground. You know, Conor takes a step after getting out, Conor takes a step back and then snaps his ankle. Right, so he is currently out. Now the rumblings happen as for who's gonna fight Conor McGregor next, and that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Who should fight Conor McGregor next? Because obviously, I you know there's been beef going on on Twitter of Conor and Jorge Masvidal. Right now, mind you, going back into 2020 when Masvidal was having this phenomenal run. March of 2020, knocks out Darren Till in London, okay, in the O2 Arena. Um, July of, uh, I'm sorry, of 2019, right, 2019. July of 2019, does the flying knee, the flying knee on Ben Askren, knocks him out, record time for quickest knockout in UFC history, five seconds. Honestly, it should have been two, two seconds, like Joe Rogan had discussed, saying, but... You know, referee didn't get there in time. Um, Askren was out cold at this as soon as impact w- uh, was made from knee to skull. And then the two, you know, the two punches onto Askren, you know, was just a cherry on top and just really, you know, put him out stiff. Okay. And then November of 2019, last time that Jorge Mazda won, um, ends up winning by doctor stoppage against uh, Nick Diaz. Um, cut was really bad on, on the right eye of Nate Diaz. Um, doctors felt like they were, it was not safe for him to continue the, um, with the fight. Who knows how the fight would have, have uh, ended up because Nate Diaz hasn't been knocked out. Um, I don't think he's ever been knocked out. If he has, it's been a very, very long time. But for the doctors to step in, main event, Madison Square Garden, 2019, November 2019, right? For the BMF title. I was like, I, knowing Nate Diaz, who knows what would have happened in rounds four and five. I know Masvidal was just beating him up in rounds three and four. But knowing how Nate Diaz is, we saw how he, how he ended up fighting in that fight uh, against uh, Leon Edwards. You know, he was getting beaten up. But then in that one shiny moment, right, he cliffs Edwards. And then Edwards, you know, collapses back. And Nate Diaz... Um, had an opportunity to go for the finish. So maybe that something like that could have happened against Masvidal in that fight, in that main event fight. But anyways, Connor and Masvidal, they're fighting, uh, they're beefing against one another. They're fighting uh, through Twitter, through Twitter words. And I'm thinking to myself, is that the fight to make? I mean, both guys are on losing streaks, okay? Um, Connor on a two-fight losing streak. Um, Masvidal on a three-fight losing streak, 
losing twice to Kamara Usman, once to Kobe Covington. There's actually, you know, you can actually score it in for the, the Covington fight as a 50, you know, 40, 44, possibly 50, 43, depending on how you want to score the, the middle rounds when Covington was dominating on the floor and just doing a 10 8. You could possibly squeeze in a second 10 8, all right? But that's neither here nor there. Connor, on the other hand, losing to Dustin Poirier twice, beating uh, Cowboys to running back in 2020. All right. I certainly do feel like the UFC, if they really want to make a big push, Connor has about what two fights left on his on his deal, right? Mazel just signed a brand new extension, right? So he's gonna be with the UFC for a little bit more. I don't know how many more fights he has on his contract. I, I don't know what's the dollar value, but clearly he's getting pay per view points. Same thing as as the as a Conor McGregor. So, will the UFC make this fight? Obviously, I think this is a fight that should have been made a long time ago. This fight, in my opinion, should have been made back in 2020, all right? Reason why I, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 2020. Reason why I say that is just because Mazda was on this big surge, right? In 2018, he won fighter of the year, right? Nobody has had a bigger um, 2018 than Jorge Masvidal. Conor McGregor, right, comes back to the UFC octagon, all right, after um, after a, a little bit of time off. The previous time that he fought before 2020 was against Habib Nurmagomedov, right? That would have been the, the, the excellent point to have Conor versus Masvidal. Now... You have both these fighters on losing streaks. Will it will it sell? Of course it would sell because it's Conor McGregor and you're going to have the casual audience that's going to come in and watch no matter what. Whenever Conor is fighting, we saw it with, with uh, Cowboy Cerrone, right? That pulled in, what, 1.6 million um, views? Pay-per-view uh, pay um, buys, if anything? I mean, Conor is just a big draw. Nonetheless, you have Jorge Mazula there, too, all right? Masvidal, um, Masvidal Kobe, um, did it make a, a bank load of bucks? It really didn't just because the name recognition value, right? Compared to Connor, it doesn't compare, but I will tell you this, right? If the USC is planning on making this fight, they might as well make it now. Okay. Just because Masvidal only fights about once or twice a year. Connor fights about once or twice a year. I know he would like to fight more. But unfortunately, that's not, he's not physically able to right now because of the leg injury. This is the fight to make. Both are stand up, you know, fighters. They're not going to be wrestling with one another. All right. My biggest question is can Masvidal, can Masvidal take the power of Conor McGregor? Now, Conor McGregor has gained a lot of muscle since the last time we, we saw him in July of 2021, right? The guy looks like a middleweight at this, at this rate. He has muscles coming out, out of his chest, his arms, his ears, you name it, okay? Guy guy looks ridiculously jacked, okay? Um, can Mazel take a punch, a left-hand hook by Conor McGregor? And then also, we can say about Mazel, though, Mazel can apply that pressure, right? He likes to kick the body and stuff like that. How would it serve for Conor, the second deck, um, Mazel ends up... Um, Throwing these ferocious leg kicks in the at the injured leg of a Conor McGregor, that's something that I would like to see. All right, I personally do would favor Masvidal just because the bigger fighter, right? He has history at fighting at 170 a lot longer than uh, Conor McGregor. Plus the fact that the guy hits hard. I mean, we saw him knock out Darren Till. All right. Darren Till was a middleweight walking at, you know, uh, he was a middleweight fighting at 170, right? He didn't need to stay at 170 anymore because he was just cutting too much weight, right? We saw Masvidal not came out. We see Masvidal um, hurt the likes of Ben Askren, right, with that flying knee, right? We see Masvidal in the past, you know, put lickings on people, okay? Connor, you know. Who has he fought really at 170 outside of, you know, lightweights that are just fighting at 170? He's fought, he's fought Nate Diaz at 170. He's fought 
um, Cowboy Cerrone at 170, right? I don't see how Con- Connor would, uh, me personally, I don't see how Connor would be able to knock out Masvidal. But then again, Ma- uh, Masvidal did just get knocked out by Kamaru Usman in 2021, all right, April 2021 in Jacksonville, Florida. It was one of the best knockouts I've ever seen by a right hook. It was just a simple um, force the hands down with the left hand and then just follow through with the right hand and just hitting flush, okay? Um, I do see this being a very uh, challenging fight for both fighters. Will it la- will it last all five rounds? I have no idea, all right? But I believe Conor McGregor should want to fight Masvidal. I think he shouldn't undersell it at any point. I think... Um, Mazzolo should try to take the fight. It's the biggest payday that he's ever going to make. And what Connor is saying is true. You know, biggest paycheck possible. Why are you going to try to throw that down the window? Okay. I would love to see both these fighters fight one another. All right. I would love to see Connor fight Michael Chandler. I think that makes sense too. Okay. But that hence back to my argument and saying that who has Connor fought at welterweight, right? That's an actual welterweight. That would just be. Michael Chandler as a lightweight, just moving up to welterweight to fight Connor at the at the weight that he wants to fight, which is 170, because he doesn't want to cut that much weight to go down to 155, which I completely understand. Okay, but yeah, you have a lot of uh, good fights um, for Connor to fight. I know Tony Ferguson. That's another fight that people would like to see, but obviously, I don't want to see Ferguson fight Connor just because. Yes, it might be an easier payday for connor to fight ferguson now that ferguson has been dominated and destroyed by you know the upper echelon in the lightweight division i would like to see ferguson fight guys like michael johnson okay guys like cowboy Cerrone, maybe a joe lozon if he wants to stick around or even like an alexander hernandez in my opinion who he's a fringe top 25er but he's not gonna make it make it inside the top 15 okay that's the people that I want to see Tony Ferguson fight. Conor McGregor, on the other hand, I mean, unfortunately, you know, he is he is the cash cow of the UFC. Well, not unfortunately, but fortunately, he is the cash cow in the UFC. But the unfortunate part about that, he's always going to have to be fighting big, um, big fights. Whether he likes it or not, he's never going to get cans. He's not going to get scrubs thrown in his direction. He's going to be fighting guys like your Dustin Poirier's. Your Michael Chandler's, your Jorge Mazados, okay? Will he fight somebody like a Charles Oliveira? That's possible, okay? But I don't see that happening, all right? Because that, that, to me personally, that just that doesn't make sense whatsoever, all right? I know there's rumors about him trying to fight Kamaru Usman, okay? That's another fight I just don't see, you know, working out in his favor. But guys, let me know what you guys think. Should Conor McGregor uh, want to fight Mazado? And should Mazado, uh take the fight? All right, both guys are on two and three fight losing streaks. Okay, where should a fight be um, be taking place? Should it be taking it in Miami? Should they have it in Madison Square Garden in November? Should they try to uh, make it in Vegas? You know how they normally do for a Conor McGregor fight week. All right, guys, I want to hear your your comments and, and your opinions in the section below. And so then, guys, I am Flavio Rihanna. Thank you for tuning in to Flavio Rihanna's MMA show, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys, and have a good one. See you.